Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless God so much for today too. It's just a day that the Lord has made. Therefore, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we thank you for the gift of another day. It is our prayer, the Lord, you let us see your glory in this day. Let us walk, O oh God, according to your will and according to your plan for our lives. We pray that you feed our souls, O oh God, with your word to the Lord Jesus we will be able to please you all the days of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, we thank God so much for today, and I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from James chapter 5, the verses 13 to 16. Let's hear the Word of God. James is speaking to us the holy spirit is speaking through james to us that is anyone among us who is suffering if one is suffering let the person pray and if anyone is cheerful thinking about the goodness of god thinking about um, our lives and looking at creation and all that when we see that what the good works of the Lord in our lives. The Bible says that if you are cheerful, sing psalms, sing praises, sing worship songs. Yes, we need to express how we feel to the Lord and to the world as well. People will see what the Lord is doing and they will glorify God. Hallelujah. Verse 14 says that if anyone among us is sick, we should call the elders of the church. We should call Christians. We should call people of God to pray for us, the elders of the church, and allow them to pray over us and allow them to anoint us with oil in the name of the Lord. Brethren, it does not mean that the power of healing is in the oil, but it is a symbol. It is symbolic that they anoint us when we we are sick so it does not mean that if oil is not used on you you cannot be healed it is not true by the stripes of jesus we are healed many people are used to using oil some are not used to but suffice to, to know that the bible says that by his stripes we are healed and so we call upon the name of jesus and we will be healed he has paid our debt and he has paid for our healing and so we 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 have the right to claim that healing so as we we allow people of god to pray for us by faith we will receive our healing and the bible says that the prayer of faith will save the sick and the lord will raise him up and if he has committed any sin he will be forgiven so even if the sickness is due to something wrong we did the Bible says that God will hear from heaven and forgive us and then heal us. Hallelujah. It continues to say that we should confess our trespasses to one another and pray for one another that we all may be healed. The body of Christ needs healing. Our physical bodies need healing. Therefore, when we pray, we should confess our sins to the Lord. And he will forgive us. The church is failing in so many ways. And we need to pray for the church. And it is a means of confessing our sins to one another. That the Lord will forgive us and take away any sort of sickness that has come over the church of Christ. And as we confess our sins to one another and pray for each other, the effective prayer of a righteous man avails much and we, when we read on and on and on we'll see how elijah prayed and there was no rain for three and a half years and after that he prayed again and there was rain brethren in the lord power is in our tongue as children of god as we pray and do whatever we do based on the word of god we experience the power of god at work in us so wherever is paining you Please lay your hands there and with faith, let's pray that the stripes of Jesus, the blood that he shed that has paid for our debt and for our healing 
May it come over each and every one who is sick, from little children to the old, older ones. God, please heal your people so that we'll have strength of God, so that we'll have testimonies of God to tell others who are suffering. That we can also pray for ourselves and confess our sins to each other. We know you will forgive us because you have said so. Thank you so much. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. People of God, God bless you. Please share the word and allow the Spirit of God to lead us throughout the day. God bless you. Be an evangelist for the Lord. Bye-bye.